Yo. 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 Hello everybody! My name is Steve. I sometimes go by Reverend Steve. I sometimes go by Mr. Steve. I sometimes go by Sally. It is the middle of summer and tempers are flaring in the Galindo household. So I thought what better way to solve the flaring tempers than by having another exciting Another exciting episode, not really pulse pounding, not, not even heart pounding, maybe like heart gently massaging. Another heart gently massaging episode of The Root Beer Show! Did I miss my cue? Yeah. America's greatest root beer reviewing webisode. Root beer show. It, you're getting in front of the screen, Maxwell, but you're not getting in front of the camera. The camera's up here, so you got to get... There you go. Now, get close. Get close. And say, Root Beer Show! Root Beer Show! Root Beer Show! That's, that's kind of the Root Beer Show. I am Baby Bella. You know what I love about this? You know what I love about this right here? Baby Maxwell. Evil Stephen King. Popping his head out from the side of the couch, just waiting. Stop it. Anyway, today is episode eight. When when you see the video, it will be okay. the right side. I knew you had questions. <laughs> this is episode eight of the Root Beer Show. What does my shirt say? Oh, it says Godzilla. All right. Thanks, Bella. Bella drew this. And uh, anyone who makes fun of it will answer to me. This is episode eight of the Root Beer Show. Eight episodes. The first episode appeared uh, here on the YouTubies in October of 2008. So that's almost six years ago. We've been doing the Root Beer Show. Very exciting. But today, uh, this will be our third different location. We, we started filming them in Sacramento. And then we started filming them in, uh, the last episode, episode 7, was in Seminole. It's, it's spelt Seminole, and it's supposed to be pronounced Seminole. But if you are from Seminole, you take out the L and the E at the end of Seminole, and you just stretch out an O. So, you're, it's Seminole, Oklahoma, unless you're from Seminole, in which case it's Seminole. 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 We've got a bunch of people here. We've got Isabelle. <laughs> We've got Isabella Lagosi over here. We've got Maxwell. Edward. Maxwell <laughs> is in the house. Everybody say hi, Maxwell. Hi. We've hi. also got uh, my oldest daughter she emerald she's not in the, the there she is she was and shy. then of course our very special guest first appearance on this show yeah. very excited about it i'm talking of course about mothra <laughs> the giant monster who fights godzilla <laughs> mothra thank you for being on the show mothra where are the twin fairies who show up and they go Masuda. It's Amber. Yeah. Masuda. Okay, it's Amber. Amber. Everybody say yay, Amber. Yay. Amber. Today we have two different drinks for you. Yeah. I've got a root beer that I'm excited to try, but before we try the root beer, I have something special, and it's right here. It's um, butter beer from Harry Potter. It's actually... Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer. There it is. Butterscotch Cream Soda. I find that uh, cream soda is sort of the red-headed stepchild of root beer. I like it. Or perhaps they're cousins. I don't know. They're related. They're definitely related. And a uh, little bit of information for you. Uh, butter Beer is from Harry Potter. It was first mentioned in the book Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Al Alcatraz. Alcatraz. 
I believe is the name of the book. There are lots of recipes on the internet and fan recipes for how to make butterbeer, and they now sell butterbeer at the Universal Studios. I would be right there. Uh, but this is an official sure. Flying Cauldron butterbeer. It's made by Reed's. They, they are makers of all natural soft drinks, and they make Virgil's root beer. But a friend of mine gave me this. Thank you. We're not doing the root beer show anymore. It's sword time with Maxwell. Maxwell, I see you have a sword there. What? Do you have a sword there in your hand? No. No sword. That was a twist ending. So anyway, we're going to be trying this as the first drink. Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer for in all intents and purposes. I feel like that's a really long name. We're just going to call it Butterbeer. Uh, we're going to be drinking this butt now. Do you see the lights flicker on and off, or am I having I a stroke? I did. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be opening this up. First thing, first off, of course, Emerald's already doing it over there off camera, is the smell. you got to smell it. It smells like a, like a, a butterscotch. butterscotch. Yeah, like 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 a little butterscotch yeah. candy. Maxwell, Amber. smelling it. Amber, do you like the scent of that? Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. Smells we pretty good. Well, it. yeah. Oh, I have to. Yes. Yes. Oh. This is the root beer show. It's got to have everybody in it. There you go. <laughs> so we're going to be trying this today. We've got two bottles. Emerald's got one over there. I've got one right here. We're going to be trying this out. I have actually tried this before. And uh, I'm going to try and be really nice about this. So if you see me do any weird faces while I'm drinking this, it's just because I was just thinking of doing a weird face. So anyway, down the hatch. Here, no, 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 clink. Oh. Clink. Clink. Yes, thank you, Maxwell. Thank you, Maxwell. That's, that's a big help. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, these drinks were given to me by a friend of mine. She is a very near and dear, close, close friend, and I love her very much. So, I'm going to be as nice as I can about this drink. And they're horrible. Shut up. <laughs> I have tried worse things. I have tried worse drinks. There's a drink called Beverly. It's from like Italy. It's horrible. It's like battery acid and feet. Here, Bella, you want to try some? <laughs> I mean, it's the, you should try it. It's the root beer show. Um, it definitely tastes like a butterscotch candy. And I'm sure that if I liked butterscotch candies. Thank you, Maxwell. Somebody's excited. In the beginning, it tastes. It tastes like soda. But then, then the next. Well, also, also in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He didn't create that. Look, something that came up. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Maxwell. Thank you. I that it came out from it. What? No, I didn't say that. I don't hate this drink. There are good Shall things about it. I like the label. It's pretty. The Harry Potter books are good. Plus, I live in the Midwest, so there are a lot of people who think that they're evil, which just makes me like Harry Potter even more. Um, I'm, and I keep thinking, if I drink this one more time, it's going to be better. Don't. I might just take them off on this offer. I might take them. It's gluten-free? That's a good thing. <laughs> it did get better. It's uh, it's fine. Uh, Probably it's I can't fine. Taste it. I think I'm it's not giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's just it's just a thumb. See, that's a thumb. There you go. I give it two thumbs down. I it, <laughs> I don't want to say I hate it because this was given to me. It was a very it, it was a no, gift. I give it I give it a middle. Thumb. You know I don't want to say I hate it, but. Middle and then down. Huh? Can I see that? It, I yeah, it. well, it, it, each, each. Yes, Maxwell, we get it. Thank you. That's awesome. You're such a big helper. There's a fake 
history of it right here. Since 1374, the Flying Cauldron has been making this magical brew for... Okay, yeah, whatever. Underage wizard. Okay. So, there's that. Uh, we're going to move on to... Uh, originally, the root beer show was just going to be that, but then I thought maybe we should have another drink. So, I've got another drink here, and I'm excited about this. Jones Soda! This is a drink we haven't tried. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I know you want the one with the kittens. I am well aware of that. Because you said it 500 times. Thank you, Maxwell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, you, you cannot do that anymore. Oh, there's a thing under the cap. You already opened it? No. The heck, Emerald? Emerald! It, Jones Sodas, they have different pictures on all of the labels, in case you don't know, because I don't think my kids know. And uh, you can actually submit your own photos and put them on the label. Or if you want, you can have custom bottles made. They're, like, insufferably hip. Okay, so did anyone give you that one? No. Okay, so no. So I can be, I can be a yes. You this can say whatever you want about this one. The only lady, the butter beer, the butter beer, that was given to me. I want to be nice. I don't let's know let's person. let's talk a let's talk a little bit about Jones Soda. Jones Soda, the Jones Bottling Company, is based in Seattle. However, it was founded in 1987 in Canada by. Canadians. Bacons. Canadian bacons. Not Canadian bacons, but interestingly enough, Amber, thank you for the segue <laughs> there. They have made a number of flavors over the years, including cherry, happy, fun, doesn't taste like the band, whoop ass, <laughs> MF grape, which stands for um, mother... Fudger. Fudger. M Mother Fudger Grape. I believe MF Grape is the purple relative of rapper MF Doom. And bacon. Bacon flavored. They have bacon flavored soda. You see that face? face? You see that face? That she's doing there? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah, there's bacon flavored everything. And this is their root beer. So we are going to try this. Jones flavored root beer. There are different things that are written. Mine says, "Good news will be brought to you by mail." Okay, whatever. Not me. Mine says, "People find it difficult to resist your persuasive manner." Oh, Emerald, I'm finding it hard to resist your persuasive manner. Persuasive manner or oh, your aggressive you're ways. Horrible. Dude, band name persuasive manner called it. Called it persuasive manner, but I'm gonna spell it like a house. M a n o r persuasive manner. Boom. So we're gonna try Jones Soda. Let's smell this. Jones sodas. Here's another fact that you might not know. Absolutely true. Each Jones bottle of soda that they that they make is one of the flavors of each bottle. Monkey farts. <laughs> That's true. Monkey farts. Half of this episode is people holding pieces of paper up. This is the special all paper episode of the Root Beer Show. Ow! Digging into my spine. So, are you ready? Are you ready? Smells good. Clean. Ah. Okay. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like root beer. Okay, down the hatch. It's a very good burping sound. Yes, yes, it's it's a very good burping root beer. I definitely like it better than the first drink. I burped from the phone. Oh my god, I can't drink all that. I'll be up all night. I like that one. The other one. The other one is just fine, and there's nothing wrong with it. It was a no, gift, no. and I, the person who gave it to me is awesome. I don't know the person, And so she more, wears socks. More, more I wear socks, too, and you can still judge me. She has awesome socks. I, I don't know. Oh, 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 I don't know. O
Awesome uh, oh, the chick. Okay. Oh, the chick. I remember oh, he did the remember. chick. That's my. That's gonna be the first album. Oh, the chick. Band of Persuasive oh, Manner. Okay. No, that's gonna be the first album. Okay, Persuasive okay. Manners. Uh, uh, debut album. Oh, the chick. The cheeky chick chick. I I called the band name. No, I already called it as an album, I so I already called it as a band I already, name. I already called your mom. I already called Emerald. I called Emerald. Whatever. Technically, she called us. Just Can me just call you? Oh my. I called Did Amber. you put your entire mouth in I called Amber. Mm -hmm. You. I called Maxwell. Ooh, no. Little, okay. <laughs> if I wanted to drink again, Nobody's I drinking out of that one. I want to drink that. Mmm. <laughs> That was hard to do. <laughs> that was weird. Do you try doing too? that. That's difficult. Let me go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is a very... <laughs> if you ever want to burp, Wait, take a drink. then root beer Stop. is definitely the way to go. Take a drink. I like this. It tastes like a root beer. Stop it. It, it tastes good. I, I'm not blown away by it. It's I'm not awesome. like, oh man, Jones root beer is the best. I've definitely had a lot better, but I've had a lot worse. I'm, it, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not the greatest. It's not the worst. It's okay. It's, it's like it's 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 the Dave Matthews Band of sodas. Not the worst music in the world. It's pretty good. You know, you're at a bar or something. You put a, put a, one of their albums on. It's okay. It's okay. Why are you trying to kill me? <laughs> I have lost control of the root beer show, I fear. Call the police. Again. See, that was, a, that was bringing, it, bringing it back. So, okay, let's do, let's do the, the results. Let's do the verdict. Now, first of all, what happened to my butter beer? Okay. Now, uh, drink number one. Was a... You don't have to snatch it from him. You don't have to snatch it from him. I see you. I see you over there with your gestures, Amber. I didn't. I thought. Yeah. Okay. Stop it, Bella. Now our first drink. Uh, flying cauldron, 100% natural, gluten-free, no GMOs. I like GMOs. In my butter beers, kids. What do you think about uh, butter beer, kids? What do you think? Good. Amber thinks it's wonderful. Good, but bad. I like it's it. It's wonderful. But hate you it. mean I'm never. You like it, it, but hate it? Yes, I half like okay. it. Half like it, half hate it. Like it, half it hate smells it. amazing, but then you Maxwell, what do you think about this? Oh, you want to smell it? Okay, go ahead. What do you think? Do you think it's good? I never like butterscotch candy. That's the thing. I, I never like butterscotch it. candy, so I, I can't be like. Butterscotch candy is. This is the best. Okay, so drink number one: butter butter beer. Uh, Amber gives it a disgusting two thumbs down. Bella gives it two thumbs down, but still thinks it's okay. No. And I give it a thumb. One just just a just a. No, I have. Just a like a like a like a. Thumb that's cut off. Like um, a cut off, like a. I like it. Um, I it a -K -K. Thank you, Maxwell. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Stop snatching papers from him. I think it's vaguely cute. Now, it's time to move on to. Okay. It's time to move on to Jones Soda, our second drink of the evening. Jones Soda. What did you kids think? What did you think of this, Bella? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up? Yep. Yeah. Well, let's see. Five thumbs up, one. Eight, Amber gives it one thumb up. Five, six, one seven, thumb eight, nine. up. That's one more thumb than she gave the last one. Although, in private, she told me that it was a wonderful soda oh. and that she was thankful Hello. for it. Thank you. Amber gives it two thumb, one thumb up. Bella gives it two thumbs up. And I say, okay, question mark. Because I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's questionable. questionable. That's The Undertaker. Surprise appearance by The Undertaker. Undertaker, why did you lose at the last WrestleMania? No one was expecting that. 
Anyway, that's about it for the Root Beer Show. Everybody get in the camera and wave bye-bye. Everybody wave bye-bye from the Root Beer Show. Everybody get in here. Get in here. Everybody, everybody, everybody. You're covering up everybody, Emerald. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. Bye, Bye from the Root Beer Show. 20 Bye. minutes long? Really? This is a long Root Beer Show. Bye, everybody. Bye.